Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Smoking Lead. I'm Caesar, and tonight we're doing a pipe tobacco review of the Davidoff Danish mixture. so we're doing another pipe tobacco i know it's been a while but we got caught up with a lot of cigar uh reviews a lot of new ones that came out plus a bunch of uh, uh things that people have been sending us and of course our shop really doesn't sell pipe tobacco they have their home uh uh mixtures there which i i smoke myself but i don't like to review because it might be hard for you guys to pick up so I try to find things that you guys can find online on whatever website, whether wherever you purchase your uh, pipe tobacco. Um, but I, I, for some reason, he uh, happened to grab, uh, pick up some of these and have them on the shelf. So got this one, and uh, I said, "Why not Davidoff? Let's check it out." I've never had any of these uh, of their blends, and I'm interested in seeing what they taste like are they just like their cigars i mean of course it's not going to taste like their cigars but is it going to be kind of like a premium type of tobacco like their cigars that that tastes very good um but let me give you a little bit about the uh the <laughs> the pipe tobacco it's a davidoff danish mixture pipe tobacco is blended from premium virginia and burley tobaccos com complemented with a touch of black cavendish rich and well balanced this classic tasting blend has wonderful room note um it says try this pleasant arom aromatic danish blend from davidoff so we know it's got barley in virginia and it's an aromatic it shows that it is a very light mixture so um it might be very light uh in strength so I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Of course, if you guys don't know how to pop one of these open, uh, there's a slit right here. You can either get a flathead or maybe one of your uh, tools. And you'll know when it opens because you hear the air go psh. Now it's ready to open. So let's go and check this out, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, that smells real good. Man. It was like a big old punch of like chocolate and tobacco. <sighs> Some type of like uh you can you can smell the cavendish, the black cavendish. Wow, okay, so here you go. That's cool. I actually never seen that. There you go. Now you can see what type of tobacco it is. Ooh, it's, it's Gotta break it up a little bit. It's actually not that wet, so it'll be probably be ready to smoke. Maybe let it sit for for a few minutes. Let me take some out right here and show it to you in my hand, so you guys can see a little better what that looks like. Focus. But there you go. Alright, so I'm gonna let it sit for maybe about five minutes and uh, and then we'll go from there. We'll, we'll start packing the pipe and giving you guys a review. I'll be right back. Alright, so here we go. We're about to start packing it up. And the way I do it is I'll pack it up. I'll give you my notes on the fur and the at the light. 
then I'll go about halfway, give you my notes again, and then I'll go towards the end and give you my notes one more time, and then give, give you guys my overall, overall view of the tobacco. <clears throat> But let me see. I got some more stuff on the on the pipe tobacco that I, I didn't mention. Um, the cut is loose cut. You guys obviously saw that. Uh, it comes in a tin. The tin is a 1.75 ounces. Um, it is aromatic. I think I mentioned that earlier. And I paid at my store about 12.99. I think I've seen them for $10.99, $11.99. So you're looking around that price range, depending on where on your website that you go to, uh, how much you purchase or where, whatever they charge or whatever for your, for yours. But let's go ahead and do the packing. All right. And the way I do that, do it, I do it in three pinches, which I'm gonna show you right now. You can see it like this. I do it in three pinches. So I'll get, give it a little light one. Let it just kind of go in there without having to really push it in there. Sounds like my neighbor just got home. Just get it in there. And then you do a second one. The second one, you kind of push it in there lightly, not too much. And you go for a third one, which is you, you uh, press it down just a little bit harder. And then I like to do is I give it a little twist. I put my thumb on here like this and I Keep it in there when I twist it, kind of mingle the the tobacco together. So there's something like this. There you go. And not do the light. Let's go ahead and do it now. It's been a while since I smoked my pipe. Very smooth. No bite to it yet. It's got a little bit of sweetness to th there to it. Um, you can tell it's an aromatic, but it's not that strong. It's very smooth, very light. I've always been interested in what these tasted like, these Davidoff pipe tobaccos. They got a couple of other ones there, so I'm gonna try to pick them up. Um, so we'll do a couple of Davidoffs. Giving a little wood, woodsy note on there. It's a little creamy, kind of like a vanilla-ish vanilla -ish type of note, not too strong. And it's got some kind of sweet, like a sweet type of, uh, 
licorice, like black licorice, very light. Very smooth, I like it. And there's no bite tongue, I mean a uh, tongue bite. Usually sometimes I'll take a sip of my drink when I'm smoking my pipe and I'll feel that tongue bite and I'm like, oh crap, that shit hurts. <laughs> Let's see what does that now. No, nothing at all. At all, at all. It is a very light tobacco so far. The room note is really nice as well. Very smooth, very, very, very smooth. So far, this is probably the smoothest one I've had out of all the pipe tobaccos I reviewed on the channel. And this was actually the most expensive one they had at their store. Uh, the other ones were a couple bucks cheaper. So I was like, give me the, the most expensive one. It's obviously some, <laughs> something good about it. <laughs> what I'm pairing it with, guys, if you're, you're wondering, I am pairing it with Pepsi Zero right now. So, that uh, I, just in case you guys are wondering, it ain't coffee or nothing like that, no alcohol or anything, just straight up Pepsi Zero, that's it. So, it's still lit up, still lit from the first light up. Well, I'll be back. So far, so good. Very nice and smooth. I'll be back at the half. All right, guys, I'm back here at the half of the bowl. I've been getting some type of like a woody note and also getting like a raisin note. Nice and sweet, very subtle, very smooth. Um, smoke is really nice. Uh, no tongue bite, very nice in the retro hell as well. I've been taking sips of my drink and no tongue bite. Uh, it was just a little bit of tongue bite when I took a sip of my drink, but it went away right away. Since then, I haven't had it anymore. It was just, just the first sip. But really nice. Kind of like that vanilla flavor again. That's the second time I got it. I haven't really been getting that. But it's really nice. It's real smooth. Subtle. Not much tongue bite. The bow has been nice and 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 uh warm, not not hot. It's just been really relaxing type of smoke. I'm enjoying this. I really am. I'll be back at the end. 
we'll give you more thoughts. All right, guys, here towards the end. Still real smooth. Um, still got that woody note. It's got it's got that sweet note, kind of like a chocolate note. Not much, but it's real real light. Hmm. Keeps turning off on me right here towards the end. Hopefully I get something out of it. Strength has picked up just a little bit, tiny bit, not much. Very nice smoke for uh, for the morning. Very enjoyable, really nice, smooth smoke. No tongue bite at all. And still giving giving me a little bit of that raisin note, where it gives me that little sweet note. Uh, I believe it's giving me that kind of like a raisin note, a little bit of that uh, black licorice type of thing. But really good overall. Really good overall. I, I'm enjoying it. I, I like this one. Definitely something to smoke uh, sometime like in the morning. You know, start off your day. really nice yeah I like it I recommend it well, there you go guys my pipe tobacco review on the Davidoff Danish mixture and uh, like I always say enjoy your freedom with a pipe in your mouth and a gun in your hand God bless you and your family and God bless America and don't forget to drop Comment below if you had this one before. Let me know what you think.